how to hypnotize yourself to have better thoughts, better reactions and get better outcomes in your life. I'm Jonathan Butler, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist and I'm one of the world's most experienced RTT therapists and I help people go from that place where they really don't want to be anymore to where they want to get to, to help people change their thoughts, feelings, actions and results. So self-hypnosis is one of the most powerful things that you can learn. You can literally change how you think and change what you get. So I'm going to share with you today how you go about that. But the first thing I want to share with you is a test to see how receptive you are, how hypnotizable you are. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do this, just kind of follow along with me. You might want to come back to this and practice this a few times, but what I'd like you to do first of all is just put your arms straight out in front of you like this. Now I'm going to keep my eyes open because otherwise it'll look a bit weird on the video, but I want you to just gently close your eyes now and then I want you to just take a few moments just being aware of the weight of your body, just noticing the connection of your body now, and then just being aware of your breathing. Just notice your breath rising, falling, calming you, relaxing you. And now with your hands out in front of you, I want you to imagine that in your left hand, you are holding on to the handle of a bucket. You're holding on to the handle of a bucket and it's a big red metal bucket. And you're holding that handle now. And then in your right hand, I want you to imagine that you are holding on to the string of a balloon. Like a kid's balloon that you might buy at a fairground or um, at the seaside. And you're holding on to that balloon now. And now that bucket in your left hand, I'm now filling that bucket up with sand. I'm filling it up with 25 kilos or maybe 55 pounds of heavy, heavy sand. And that sand now is getting heavier and heavier. And you can feel that pulling on your arm pulling on your wrist, getting heavier and heavier, pulling your wrist down. And as that left hand, as that bucket is getting heavier, in your right hand now, I'm pumping that balloon up with industrial helium that's so light, it's like it's pulling your arm up on a pulley, on a ratchet. So as the balloon gets lighter, the bucket gets heavier and now I'm pouring water into that bucket and it's getting even heavier and now when you're ready you can just let your hands relax and drop down okay now if you were able to notice that that pulling on your arm or that lifting on your arm that means that you can easily be hypnotized that you are receptive to suggestion because hypnosis is a natural state that we all go into. And whatever stage you've got to in your life, you have been hypnotized before. You may not have known it, but every day of our life we go into hypnotic states at certain times of the day. And when we're children, we spend a lot of time in hypnosis where we are absorbing things. That's why children learn. So you have been hypnotized before. And whatever thoughts you have about yourself, whatever feelings you have about yourself, beliefs you have about yourself, these are a result of hypnosis. Maybe not me sitting in front of you hypnotizing you, but they are a result of your mind being in a state where you take things on board. So pretty much everybody is able to be hypnotized. But clearly you have to want to be, okay? You can't be forced to be in hypnosis, certainly not in therapy. You're never going to be made to go into a hypnosis unless you want to be in that state. Okay, so hopefully by now you've either seen that you are highly receptive or maybe you need to practice that a little bit more because pretty much anybody can get into hypnosis because we do it all the time. Now, the next thing you need to think about is what do you want to achieve? Now, there are two kind of 
ways of approaching self-hypnosis, okay? There is the self-hypnosis for kind of situations. So maybe you've got a job interview, maybe you've got an exam or a test, maybe you've got a hot date, maybe you've got to have a difficult conversation with somebody. So this is what I think of as kind of um, getting in the zone to perform for a particular event, the kind of thing that I use for sports people, performers, um, uh, business people, to really kind of get themselves in the right frame of mind regularly. And then there is a kind of what I call a longer form of self-hypnosis, which is about consistently doing self-hypnosis such that you start to change your thoughts, feelings and actions about how you feel about things, how you act in certain situations. But what I strongly suggest is that you start off with doing this kind of situational hypnosis, situational self-hypnosis, and you can move on to the the kind of deeper stuff later on. Okay, so let's say then that you have got um, an interview coming up, okay? So what I want you to do, whether it's an interview or whatever it might be most important for you, think of the thing that maybe you're, you lie awake at night thinking about, that you wake up in the morning worrying about, okay? That's probably the most important thing for you now, so focus upon that. So thinking about that thing right now that you're maybe feeling a little bit worried about, a little bit anxious about, I want you to just take a few moments just to picture that if you were to turn up for that event later on today without the benefit of this self-hypnosis, how are you likely to be thinking, how are you likely to be feeling, how are you likely to be acting in that situation? So maybe you see yourself being nervous, maybe you see yourself being anxious, maybe you're worried about forgetting things, maybe you're worried about getting asked a difficult question, maybe you might be worried about um, just completely blowing things, completely um, saying the wrong thing in that environment. Whatever it is, just try and picture that now for a few moments. You know, How will you be in that situation right now without doing something about that? So just thinking about that now then, and then just notice in your body how that feels. How does that feel if you're not feeling particularly good about that thing that you're going to go into? It probably doesn't feel great. You might find yourself feeling a little bit tense here. You might notice you're having some butterflies. Your heart rate might be starting to increase. Um, you may be finding yourself tensing up. Okay, and that's all perfectly normal. But now what I want you to do is now I want you to picture yourself to like create a movie, okay? Create a movie of how you want to see yourself in that environment. So, and again, this is something you'll take a bit of practice, but every time you do it, it will get easier and more powerful. So create that movie now in your mind of how you want to turn up for that interview. So maybe you can picture that you're gonna be waking up in the morning of that interview. You're waking up and you're feeling excited you're feeling excited you're looking forward to this this is the job that you want you know that you're ready for it you know that you deserve it and you're feeling excited and then I want you to picture yourself going to that interview maybe you're driving maybe you're going on public transport I want you to picture yourself going to that place assuming this is in person or maybe if it's online but just Wherever it is you're going to, I want you to just picture yourself going now. I want you to imagine yourself maybe driving up to the car park, parking your car, getting out of the car, standing tall, feeling good. I want you to picture yourself going into the reception, walking in, shoulders back, standing tall, smiling, feeling good. Maybe the person comes out to meet you who's going to interview you or who's going to introduce you. And again, you're standing tall, you're feeling good, you're feeling relaxed, you're smiling. And you're walking along the corridor to that room that you're going to go to. And then maybe they open the door and you walk in and there's people around the table. Maybe they know them, maybe you don't. But I want you to imagine you're just going to stop for a moment. You're going to smile at people. You're going to make eye contact with everyone in the room. You're going to take a moment, come across as calm, authoritative. You're going to walk in 
you're going to shake hands or whatever is appropriate to do in that environment. You're going to sit down. You're going to sit up straight. You're going to be calm, confident and relaxed. And I want you to picture yourself making that good first impression. Being calm, being relaxed. Because the reality is in life, in most of these things, what really matters is how we make people feel. So if you go in there feeling calm, feeling relaxed, feeling confident, you've already won half the battle. Because if you're in that interview already, you're there because you've got the skills, you've got the experience. The only thing that's stopping you probably is you sabotaging yourself by being anxious, nervous or freezing. So maybe in that video then, in that movie, you can then picture yourself being asked questions and you see yourself calmly, confidently answering that question. You expect the words to just naturally flow from your mouth. You expect to remember what you need to say. You believe in yourself. You know that whatever you're asked, you're going to be able to deal with it calmly and confidently. I want you to picture yourself making that good impression, coming across well, trusting in yourself, believing in yourself. So try doing that and <clears throat> have that movie ready to go. Then what I want you to do is, you can do this in the daytime, but the best time to do this is last thing at night. So let's say you've got that interview tomorrow, or whatever the event is, you've got your movie ready. And typically what happens is when we go to bed at night, if we go to bed feeling anxious, feeling worried, what's gonna happen? The last thoughts on our mind are anxious thoughts. We're probably gonna have a not great night's sleep, we're probably gonna have a light sleep, and we're probably gonna wake up in the morning feeling anxious, feeling nervous. So what I want you to do instead is to focus upon how you want to feel. So I want you to be replaying that movie in your mind, the last thing you do at night. Because this is the time as adults that we go into a hypnotic state. There's a couple of times, a few times in the day when we go into hypnotic states as adults. As children, it's much more frequent. And the key one, the most important one, is last thing at night before you fall asleep. So I want you to get into bed, be lying on the bed, being ready to go to sleep, and I want you to start playing that movie over in your mind. Playing it over in your mind, and it will relax you. And you will get a good night's sleep. Okay, you will get a good night's sleep. And then in the morning, you are far more likely to wake up feeling good. And whatever you feel in your stomach, because it's natural for these, before these kind of events, to be a little bit nervous, but I want you to tell yourself that you are excited. You are looking forward to it. And when you wake up in the morning again, play that movie over in your mind. And maybe before you go off to that interview, maybe when you park up your car in the car park, or if, you, you know, if you're waiting in reception, if you've come on public transport, just take a few moments again and replay that movie in your mind of what you want. Because your mind will give you what you want. If you let your mind go to fear and worry and negative things, your mind will take you there and you'll get that reaction. You'll get stiff, you'll get anxious, your voice will go all, all like the way you don't want it to go. But when you tell yourself the story you want to tell yourself, what you know your skills experience aren't going to change, but the way that you make people feel is going to significantly change. And then I want you to picture yourself coming out of that interview. Coming out of that interview, knowing that you've made a great impression, knowing that you've done well, knowing that you have actually tapped into the law of attraction, that the people in there are going to be going that person really made me feel good. I feel good about that person. I feel good about working with them. I feel good about having them on the team. So the more you repeat that, the stronger that will become. And you can take this whole same concept again for other things in your life. Let's say going on a date, um, sports performance, uh, whatever it may be, do it, doing an exam, you can apply this to all sorts of things. So just to recap, what do you need to do to hypnotize yourself? So. The first thing is to 
be clear on what you want. What is it you want? Think about what it is you want. Not what you don't want, but how do you want to think, feel and act? Get yourself nice and relaxed. Ideally, last thing at night, having created that vision, having created that movie, and then simply play it over in your mind. Simply play it over in your mind. So try that, let me know how you get on, ask me questions. You might also want to watch my other videos I've got about self-hypnosis where I show you some rapid techniques for getting into hypnosis, which might, in fact, almost certainly will make you go even deeper into hypnosis and make this even more effective. So please see some of the other videos, put this in practice, do subscribe and ask me any questions. And I look forward to hearing how you're getting on and the changes and the results that you are all getting from doing this.